Ooh. Ooh. Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If you're new, welcome. I'm Lou, I post weekly beauty, luxury and lifestyle videos. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell next to it so you don't miss a video. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I'm coming at you with the first impressions. I created this look with some new products. I've got Stila, I've got Huda, I've got MAC, I have Hourglass, the goodies are rolling and I have a bit of drugstore too. So I know you guys are thinking, okay Lou, enough, let's just see how you got it, let's see your impressions, let's see everything. All right guys, I'll show you how I got this now. So I'm fresh faced, I've prepped my skin, let's get into this, I'm so excited. You don't understand, I've had all these products sitting in my vanity, I've not been able to use them, so now I can use them. All right, so first I'd usually do my brows. I have the Benefit Brow Contour Pen, Pencil, Brow Pencil, whatever. This is the new brow product from Benefit. It's basically like those clicky pens, you know, that you used to use in school. And there's about four shades, so you get your shade, and I've got Brown Black Deep. You have the light shade for the front part of your brow. You have the dark deep shade for your arch and your tail. And then you have the highlighter, which you put on your brow bone and then the definition which is what you use around like concealer sort of. The only downside is there's no spoolie with this and usually I use the Anastasia Brow Definer uh, or the, um, and that has a spoolie on the end or I was using the Cabral before and obviously that didn't have a spoolie so I'm used to Benefit products. So let's use this and see how we go. I have my own spoolie here. I'm just gonna comb my brows. Figure this out. So you click and twist I think. So we'll do light shade so it's come down this is going to be so annoying to do ah so you click and then twist to get it out and i was asking the people at the counter like what happens if you get too much she's like oh it just goes it goes back up so it doesn't matter but i guess just don't get too happy with it so lighter shade i'm just gonna So I've just clicked off that shade, clicked another, so I'm going to do deeper shade. So I've twisted that and I'm just going to do the tail. It's so, it's so weird guys, it's so abnormal to use it. The definer isn't as thick. Okay, that's not too bad. What do you guys think? Spoolie. I'm just gonna comb that. In terms of time consuming, I find the brow definer I use when I'm in a rush, the Cabral I use when I'm doing more of a glam look. With this one, like I would probably stop here if I'm just running out the door. When I'm doing glam, I would then do the whole situation. So let's do the definer. So this one I don't mind like using the front of the pen because I don't need to get it super, super precise. But I'd say just don't click up, twist up too much, then that way also it won't break. I think I like this bit, the concealer inside. I guess now you just have to blend it out like you would anything else. Let's just use the brow bit on the end of this spoolie. All right, that's blended out quite nice actually. And lastly is highlighter, so I've just popped that down. This is nice. I guess you would just still have to take your spoolie, but you know, in terms of even for like glam glam, if you really want to, you just pop it on and be a bit dramatic. Okay, I'll do the other brow and shut up and speed it up. <laughs> mm. Mm. Do you guys see that? See what I mean? Did you see that? I actually push it back in. It's already, it's already messing up, guys. Guys, this is 50 bucks. This is rip off. Nah, I'm not having it. Now it won't go, it won't stay. What a waste. Don't waste your money, guys. The concept is cool, right? But you can't tell me that the fact that this is already malfunctioned and this is the first time I've used it. Anyway, I'm ready to move on. This brow looks a bit 
deformed, but you know, it's okay. Life goes on. I haven't really got any, all the palettes I've got, I'm doing reviews on them. So the only new thing I've got is the Stila Vivid and Vibrant Eyeshadow Duo. I've got it in Sapphire, which is the blue, uh, 24 months shelf life, 2.6 grams. So it's this cute little dinky thing here. So one side is like Vivid and the other one like Vibrant, you get the point. It's got a tiny mirror, it's super, super cute. And we're gonna use our Born to Run palette. You guys know I love this thing. If you follow me on Insta, this is all I go on about. So we're gonna use it and make it work, okay. Really loving and falling back in love with my Sigma E35. I've been using that a lot. Going in with Riff from Born to Run, just using that as a transition shade. And I'm mad at the pen because it actually turned out okay on this side. It's just that the pen is malfunctioning. Like, that's annoying, right? All right, taking my E40, another fave, going into Hellride. It's purple here. Then with the Wayne Goss 19. It's another new favorite of mine, and I'm just smashing back into Hellride and just intensifying that. Sorry guys, I look a hot mess. I've been filming like back to back reviews and stuff so my poor face my poor eyes they're just done no matter how close together i do eye look sometimes do you guys ever have one eye that just comes out perfect the other eye just looks weird you do the exact same thing to it and it's like it wants to play you i think it's time to get into this shadow so i'm just gonna go for gold with my finger do you see that guys that is gorgeous Oh, this is nice. That is bomb. I'm gonna go back into Hellride, but I'm using my MAC 217. And I'm just gonna blend that, the edge, to make it a bit more precise. I'm gonna go into the sparkly shade, using my finger again. And I'm just gonna stamp it in the center. Oh, I've got a little bit of Fallout City going on. Fallout City. Oh, this is nice. I'm just going to go back in with the blue and I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. Lower lash line, I'm going to tight line with... Should we tight line with it as well? Let's do it. Screw it, let's do it. We're gonna use our Wayne Goss number eight, which I'm loving for tight lining. It's really, 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 really tiny. And we're gonna use the deep shade of that of Sapphire. Take my Wayne Goss number 19 again. I'm gonna go back into Hellride. And we're just gonna do the same thing on the bottom. Primer, I have this sample of the Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer, we're gonna use that. It's a clip gel, so I'm presuming it's gonna dry like silicon. Yep. So if you've used the Smashbox primers, um, those kind of situations, that's what that's gonna be like. Okay, foundation. I now have, I'm super late to the bandwagon. I know I've got the Huda Beauty foundation. Um, I've got the shade Chocolate Mousse 450G. It's the faux filter foundation. It's 35 mils. I've got my um, hourglass brush that I'm loving. So I'm just gonna use that to pop this on. It's got a pump, which is always handy. I think this is full coverage. So we're just gonna stamp it on. It, even on my hand like it's darker than what's on my face right now so let's hope it oxidizes because i'm looking like a dracula situation right now it's got fragrance in it <sighs> why do you think i have to have fragrance why that was about two pumps as well that i put there i haven't got any new concealers for now so i'm just going to go with my usual nars this is like the second time i'm using this hourglass brush and i'm loving it it is a fantastic brush guys Finally get to use this. It is the Hourglass Veil Powder. I've just bought a mini because no one's paying $67 for a powder. They don't know if it's gonna work. So I'm glad I waited, got the mini. 
so it's trans it's supposed to be translucent this is the one that has the fancy h and everything so i love how the mini still has the h so that's cute um i think it's supposed to disperse like the right amount of powder so that's what it looks like so i've got a new i've also got a new brush um this brush i've had i just haven't played with because it's so pretty and soft it's the real techniques um powder brush it's um b01 and it is supposed to be like their blue squirrel line i'm going to roll press my powder my powder my brush into the product like so i'm just tapping off and i'm just going to sort of roll it on my face let's see what that looks like guys that feels gorgeous um sales associate when i was buying it at mecca said that a lot of people are using it as a replacement for um the laura messier because she pulled out of australia oh this brush is soft it's gorgeous gone on nicely it's set nicely it's gone in there beautifully bronzer using my usual golan terracotta which i hit pan on guys do you see that do you see that pan peeking through oh yeah Okie dokie, let's do blush and highlight. This dude was kind enough to get me my little baby sister. She got me um, a highlight palette from Rimmel. It's the one that Kate, I think it's their first trio. Um, Kate Moss designed it. I'm gonna use this gold shade down here. And I've got a fan from Real Techniques, the unicorn kind of collection. That is actually gorgeous, guys. Brush is really nice and soft and fluffy. So Urban Decay came out with these lo-fi lip mousses and I picked up three shades. I have Boom, Fade, I have Amplify as well. Now, when I picked these up, I picked them up with the intention of using them as a blush. Cool thing, you open it, pops out. You see how it popped out with that little, this is an applicator. When you close it, it sort of pops itself in again. We'll probably put this on our cheeks and Fade we're going to put on our lips as a nude. So I'll just show you guys what that looks like. I have my Wayne Goss number 10. I'm going to use that. I'm just dipping into it. This is exciting. How pretty is that, guys? Like, that is the main reason I bought this. Like, just to use it as a blush. I really like cream. I really like emollient blushes as well. I've got liquid blushes. I have cream blushes. I really like it. And it's nice. And because it's a lip product, it's matte. It's supposed to, it's designed to, like, dry down. So really like this guys this is beautiful now i'm gonna finish up my eyes use the new mascara that i'm super excited for ready the hourglass caution mascara the formula looks quite wet decent sized brush oh 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 the claim, I remember the claims for this was stupid though. They were like 400% volume. I was like, how do you quantify 400%? Ooh, I like the volume I've got. Okay, I'm gonna dip in and go for one more. Seriously though, look at this eye. Look at this eye. Wowza. All right, let's do lower lash. The triangle handle, I know that's usually a thing with hourglass, but that's becoming quite, it's actually quite ergonomic to use. You can tell for mascara is good if your lower lashes look good. Like I have no lower lashes, but now I actually do, you know? Hourglass, you guys know what you're doing. You're slowly turning everybody hourglass. Look at how many hourglass products I have here. Ridiculous. It is though, I will say, it is giving my eyes a tiny bit of like a clumpy, like spidery look. I feel like the brush is big, but it's also tapered. It's like tapered, but it's it's small enough that it can, I'm getting so close to my lash line and I don't, I don't get to do that with big brushes. I've got a bit of dim light. I'm just gonna go in with that real techniques. I'm just gonna, because they say you can just dust, it's a finishing powder. Shade, lo-fi mousse. I'm gonna go for go for gold. We'll see how we go with just the, with the um, applicator. It's quite dry. But I guess it's something you can have in your bag on the go and you don't have to worry about the lid coming off the lipstick. I'll show you guys the packaging. See how malleable it is? It's like really moussey. Make sure your lips are scrubbed and moisturised because this is going to take no prisoners. There is no slip to it once it's on. And I like that it's compact because you can still reach for it, you know? The balm had a lip and cheek palette. It was too big. I wasn't going to carry that. And if you want to retouch, how do you suppose I retouch? Fix plus matte. I'm just going to shake and spray. So see how it's like milky? 
although there is like frost a bit of frosted packaging but at the top you can see it's pretty milky when you leave it to stand and set you'll see the milky stuff go down and then it'll be clear so i suppose that's the mattifying stuff mm. So we're done, we are mattified. We are done, we are mattified. We're good to go. All right, so quick thoughts on everything, things that I did like. This little thing, love it. I'm a fan of Steelers glitter stuff. I love their glitter and glows, their shimmer and glows, superb. This, adding it to the, um, to the loving pile. And um, the only thing is, you ha I have found using my fingers is awesome and that's how I got the payoff here. But if you don't like that, you might, you know, might not be a fan of it. If you want to use a brush, just make sure you do your eyes first because it's Fallout City basically. But I love it. I might be going back to grab the um, the green one. Oh yeah. Another thing I'm loving, the Lo-Fi Lip Mousse as both a lip product and on my cheeks. This is the shade Boom that I'm wearing. And I love it, love it on my cheeks and it's sitting quite nicely. It's not giving off a sheen. I think it works because it's a matte lip product. That's why it's working well on my cheeks. And then again, I have the shade Fade on my lips, which I like at the moment. It's really comfortable, but there's no nourishing properties. Like I said, just make sure you um, moisturize your lips and scrub, like scrub your lips and moisturize them so that there's no dry stuff to cling to and it won't feel uncomfortable, but looks gorgeous. I don't have to wear a liner with this color and this is Fade and it feels nice on my cheeks and on my lips. The Rimmel Highlight Palette, I wasn't expecting much from them from it. I really like it and I use these two shades, the middle and the last one. I really like the glow that I got, I think it's gorgeous. And the Hourglass brush isn't too much of a new thing but I'm loving that. The Real Techniques brush is super super soft, B01, the powder, powder brush, really like setting my face with that. The Hourglass Mascara, you guys saw, I'm in love with it, I really love it. So. Um, if, if it's within your budget and you guys want to display it, pick up the mascara, I really like it. Um, I don't wear falsies on a regular basis, I only wear it when I'm going glam or going out or to call it an occasion or something. So um, I usually just go for mascara and before I was, like I said, I was using Roller Lash and Bad Girl Bang and I really love it. And a lot of the times I can tell for lash and mascara is good if my lower lashes also look cool and they do. So I like it. I don't know about 400% though, but you guys have something, there's something in here. The Hourglass Veil Powder, like I said, I'd have to keep testing it for a while, but it feels nice. It's finely milled. There's no, I don't think there's a cast that's been left on my skin. The um, Bare Minerals Primer, that one felt a bit silicone-y, but I'm actually excited to keep trying to use that one. I think it would be cool for oily skin because it's nice and clear like a gel. It's set matte. It actually helped to like create a smooth base for my skin. So I'll keep using that and see if I purchase that. The Fix Plus Matte will see whether it extends the life of my foundation or not. You guys know how I feel about this pen. I wanted to like it. This brow turned out really nicely. This brow, it just decided to malfunction. I did like the highlight and define and all that stuff. But the concept was cool. I just think the execution was a bit poor and you guys just, just stick. You guys are good at brow stuff, but you don't need to be gimmicky stuff, you know? Like, I know you guys play on like the cutesy packaging and cute stuff, but just, just, just stick to what you guys know, which is good brow products. Like do that. You don't need to have all this clicky business. It's got time for this. I feel like the foundation isn't too bad anymore. It's um, set, I've set my face and everything. We're all good, just looking at my chest as well. I think when I first put it on, I felt like it looked like a mask, but you guys, I know you, like, you guys will let me know. Let me know in the comments, do you have any of these products? Will you be picking any of them up? Have you dodged a bullet with anything? I'd love to hear it. On your way out, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. and. Tap that bell to be notified so you don't miss any videos. Thank you so much, guys. I can't wait to see you back here again. Click here to subscribe. Click here to catch my last video. And click here for more from Loose Beauty Closet. Until next time, guys.